developing all morning long. The new details of a murder at a 7-Eleven gas station in Albuquerque that we first told you about yesterday morning. That's right. Albuquerque police have arrested two people in the murder of a clerk there. And right now they are searching for another man they say that actually pulled the trigger. And we just learned about this all overnight, nearly 24 hours after the ordeal. Plus, we now know the name of the clerk that was gunned down. Yes, we got a hold of the police report. And we know this is a very complicated case, so we're going to break it all down for you right now. News 13's David Romero is live at that 7-Eleven gas station on Central and University. David, what have you learned overnight? Well, Matt, a lot of co complicated details came out overnight. This was after police were being very tight-lipped about the information as to what happened here yesterday. Now, according to the criminal complaint, 20-year-old Julian de Herrera, 22-year-old Dylan Villarreal, and 22-year-old Eloy Aguilar arrived at the 7-Eleven gas station on the corner of Central and University yesterday just before 1 in the morning. While there, police say Aguilar told the other two he wanted to rob the store, so he went inside. At the same time, police say de Herrera went up to a van full of people outside of the store and held them up at gunpoint and stole their cell phones. A clerk saw that, ran outside, and called 911. That's when De Herrera and Villarreal got back into their car. They say they heard a gunshot, so they took off. Police say Aguilar was trying to rob the store and fired a shot that hit and killed the clerk inside. After that, he took off running. Police say they found De Herrera and Villarreal through a GPS tracker from one of the stolen cell phones. They were later arrested and charged with murder, armed robbery, and tampering with evidence. Right now, Police are still searching for Aguilar. Again, they say he is the one that shot and killed the clerk. They, this was, of course, a scene that has many in the area shaken up. I'm there every morning pretty much, and sometimes at night getting coffee. So it scares the hell out of me. That victim, is, uh, who was a clerk here at 7-Eleven, was identified as Chad Mercer. He was in his 30s and was a father of a young child. Matt, back to you. Such a sad story there, David. Thank you for breaking that all down for us. Now, police say after the shooting, one of the people who got robbed tried to give Mr. Mercer CPR, but unfortunately, it's too late. He died before he could get to the hospital.